As you read the title, yes, for the first time since launch of the game, Elite is going free. Well, not free to play, but free to keep for a limited time on Epic Store. Odyssey is launching sometime quote-unquote early next year, so presumably in the six months or so. Hopefully. Today, however, if you happen to be around this time, picking up the game for the first time is really nice opportunity, as the Horizons DLC expansion season past failure has been integrated into the base game as well. As I have made it clear over the years making content, there are massive issues with Elite as a full-fledged game, but as an experience, it certainly stands tall, and just for that alone, it's worth checking it out. Not to mention that it's one of the best VR games. Well, okay, well, it's not a VR game only, but it competes there too. The interesting thing here due to Elite going free is that while it's not only for the uninitiated to get the taste of Elite, but come on, pick up a second, third, even tenth free account for yourself. I can tell you that if you're an explorer, having an additional account is great. I mean, otherwise, some of these shots in the video right now you're watching wouldn't be possible without my secondary or tertiary accounts. I mean, after all, Elite Dangerous doesn't offer multiple save slots. Oh yes, of course it's on Epic Store and some folk have disdain for the platform. And as I've learned on one of my streams, there's even some unique cases that hate it just irrationally because I guess it's not their toy or something. But believe you me, I get at least, well, most cases, as Epic has been quite anti-competitive in the past, but with all the exclusives on fair few games that I myself like even. And I wouldn't to this day buy them until they get to Steam or GOG and whatnot else. Still, a free game game is a free game. And while we don't know if Epic gave money to Frontier to let the game go free on their store exclusively, generally speaking, benefits outweigh the potential negatives. In any case, as a business move, this is again beneficial for everyone, and if you think otherwise, well sure, okay, there are maybe one or two details. But mostly this move is about Frontier trying to get as much people playing Elite Dangerous as possible. Maybe buying their crappy microtransactions, but it's mostly using Star Citizen's uh, event that happens at the same time to get as much people in, and potentially interested in the Odyssey when it launches. It's pretty much a long play for Odyssey sales, folks, and that's fine too. I always say that as long as something's well made, it deserves the asking price, and who knows, the next expansion for Elite may just be that. Now, of course, me being me, I'll do my things. However, for now, everyone's got a chance to at least take a peek, if not fully, immerse into, well, this.